Let's go for a ride in Gamma. I'm Chris McCammon, the content specialist. And I'm Quincy Hilla, Aptera's digital marketing manager. Let's go. Let's do this. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, right off the bat, I see a huge difference from the alphas, the beta, and now gamma. Um, it just, you know, it's really quiet in here, you know? Yeah, it definitely has a quieter ride for sure. And it's awesome to see kind of the changes that you can hear and feel and see um, from alpha to gamma. I really like the yoke too. Uh, it has really great visibility of these left and right cameras to see really everywhere around the vehicle. So I can see left and right here, and I can see reverse right here at the rearview mirror. To me, when I've kind of touched the steering wheel myself, it feels different than the traditional yoke style steering wheel. And I kind of like the yoke wheel hybrid that this is, because I can one hand this too, and kind of feel like I'm you know, relaxing if I'm on the highway and I want to you know, hang low, but I can also you know, drive at 12 and two like I'm used to. That's um, very true. You could even grab up here if you want, right? You had to. Why not? Could. Why not? It's not like a traditional yoke that's on other EVs where it's like you have to be here. You really have a lot of range of movement. I really like the center display and how everything is, you know, really starting to come together with the design here. So you can go up and down on the side windows. It all works. You even have dome lights in here that you can use. So here's the left and right dome light. This is also where you do your gear selection. So right now we're in drive, but I could go into reverse right now and it would it would change. It's all done on the touchscreen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're still filming? Yeah. I've always really liked how Aptera's corner, um, it feels very much like a normal four-wheeled vehicle, which people really don't expect. Um, but here we are, you know, taking some curves over here and like, it feels as locked in as any other, you know, production car, which I really do like. Yeah, my first ride in Alpha, I was shocked at how familiar Aptera felt. I was expecting it to feel like something completely different because obviously it looks like something completely different than a four-wheeled vehicle, yeah. but it feels very familiar, very much like a four-wheeled car. Um, and yeah, you can definitely feel the differences in the turn and the stability um, here in Gamma. How do you feel about the legroom? It's just like stupid amounts of legroom. And I felt like that in the Alphas too, but like this brings it to a whole nother level. Um, Gamma is 1% bigger by volume, so really every dimension has a lot more room. We've had people up to six foot eight fit comfortably here at our events and stuff, yeah. which has been really exciting to see. That was crazy. That was one of my favorite experiences of fully charged, was being able to have people of all shapes and sizes and backgrounds get to be able to experience Aptera for the very first time. I think six eight was probably the cap that we yeah. were able to um, fit, comfortably. fit comfortably in Aptera. Yeah. Absolutely, but that's great because that's what we've been wanting to do all along is, you know, fit people up to that height and uh, it's very difficult to do that in an interior volume that's pretty much fixed, you know, this is a math equation, but the fact that the design team was able to make it, you know, fit so many diverse groups is really awesome. I know, I'm super happy about that. I want everyone to be able to feel as comfortable and as safe in Aptera as possible and it really felt like we were, you know, hitting that mark, so. I remember last time I had like, you know, a good inch of headroom, now it's like crazy. You see this? I don't have my hair spike this time, so, you know, subtract an inch. <laughs> what do you think I have over here? Wow, that's probably at least six inches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pickup on Gamma, of course, is really amazing as well. You know, it has the all-wheel drive design, uh, which Beta had, and as you saw with the Beta drag race that we, we've done in the past, um, Beta is just a really performant vehicle, and uh, that's exactly what people are going to get when they get their production app Terra too, you know, really awesome, really fast um, when you want to be, but also, you know, just generally really efficient. It's funny how one of the most efficient vehicles ever made can also be, you know, one of the most fun and, and fast vehicles ever made too. Yeah, It, it I competes know. with so many, you know, supercars with the zero to 60 times, uh, but yet it, you know, it's kind of for everyone. It's for you and me, it's for everyone else. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not my favorite feature of Aptera, but I know that my fiance, Blaine, is really excited about being able to take it um, for a quick jaunt around San Diego and up the coast. Um, so that speed, that kind of speed feature is really, really um, a cool thing. Well, hey, now that we're in a parking lot, let's like get some footage of Gamma going over speed bumps. I think a lot of people ask about that. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Whoa! 
That was so fun riding in Gamma. It was a blast. I'm so happy we could take you along for the ride. Me too. I uh, can't wait for you to experience Gamma yourself at future events and Delta here in the near future. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.